Hello friends, this video on visualizing solid shapes part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the interesting part is that these 3D shapes can be visualized as many 2D shapes. That means multiple 2D shapes put together in some pattern gives rise to a 3 dimensional shapes. Now, it sounds weird, I understand, but at the same time, I gave you the example of the playing card. You remember, one playing card is two-dimensional, but multiple playing cards forming a card tower, that's three-dimensional. So, in a very similar way, you would see that there are all the 3D shapes that we see, whether it is a sphere or it is a cone or it is a cylinder, all the 3D shapes, all of them are actually made up of 2D shapes. That is, you can actually visualize them as being made up of two dimensional shapes. Now, this is the most interesting part of this lesson and let us try to explore this with by taking examples of different shapes. So, let us first observe a cuboid. So, what is a cuboid? How does it look like? So, a cuboid generally doesn't have all the sides equal, right? So, it will have rectangular faces of the cuboid. Now, if you take squares, now if I ask you to make a cuboid, how can you make a cuboid? Can you think of any option of making a cuboid? So, in order to make a cuboid, all you need is squares. You need many squares. The square as such is a two-dimensional figure. And we know that very well. So this is a two dimensional figure. But when instead of one square, you have multiple squares and let's say that you place these square one above another. So you place all of these squares together. So what happens? By placing multiple squares one above another, we actually create a third dimension because as long as we were dealing with the two dimensional square, we only had two axes. One was this axis and the other one was these axis, this axis. So only two axes were there. But in this case, when we are placing so many squares one above another, so there is some height also, right? Because let's say that you are assuming that square sheets of paper are being placed one above another. So when there is one sheet, now this thickness of the sheet is very very negligible so the height is very negligible for one sheet but instead of one if you have 100 sheets like that placed one above another then the height is considerably considerable so you have to consider the height so this height is an extra dimension that you are adding so basically what you get the image that you get or the object that you get is a solid cuboid so why cuboid? Because it is it, it is very evident that it looks like a cuboid. Where you see all the sides are not equal, that's because you have placed too many squares. When you keep on placing more and more squares, what happens is this dimension keeps on increasing. And the moment one dimension increases, you get a rectangular face. So this is how you get a cuboid. And this is an example of a solid cuboid because inside the cuboid, everywhere you have squares. So so when you stack squares in a linear fashion, that is one after another, one above another. So in a linear fashion, when you stack many squares together, you get a solid cuboid. So let us observe a cuboid again, but this time we will not make use of squares. We will make use of rectangles. Now, can we make cuboid using rectangles? Yes, we can. So in this case, you take a rectangle. So a rectangle as such is a two-dimensional figure. Now when you stack many rectangles one above another, what happens? The same thing. This time also you get a cuboid. And this also is a solid cuboid. And this, with what you obtain is a three-dimensional object. So you see, this is so interesting that a three-dimensional object, which we normally see as very different from a two-dimensional object, but actually that three-dimensional object is made up of some two-dimensional objects. We can visualize it like that. A 10 rupee note is a good example of a rectangle. What we are doing here is we take a bundle of notes and start placing them one above the other. And we will arrive at a three-dimensional shape. Now we all know that rectangle is a two-dimensional figure, right? When, when we place one 10 rupee note on the table, we see that it, it lies along the plane of the table, which shows that it is two-dimensional. But now what do you see? You see that a third dimension has also appeared, which is the height, which was not there when there was one single note. 
So now with this arrangement, we can very clearly see that it is no more a two dimensional rectangle, but a three dimensional cuboid. So very distinctly, you can observe its length, breadth, as well as height. Now, do you want to see one more cuboid? But this time it is a hollow cuboid. Now, what do we mean by hollow cuboid? This time you do not have squares or rectangles inside. So, only from outside it is like a cuboid, but inside it is all empty. So, how do we make this hollow cuboid? Well, to make this hollow cuboid, all we need is are the faces, the rectangular faces that we see outside. We only need those faces. So, let's observe the how these rectangles make hollow cuboid. So, it is like you have some six rectangles like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And with these six rectangles on six sides, you make a hollow cuboid. So, in this case, we all know that inside there, there are no rectangles inside, nothing is there. Inside it is empty. You just have six rectangles on the outer sides and these six rectangles make a hollow cuboid. So here also we see hollow cuboid is again a three dimensional shape definitely and this is also visualized as being made up of two dimensional rectangles. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.